dogs that um, are itching are a big part of my day. Skin problems occupy probably 30 to 50 percent of my day and dogs with an itchy butt are really common. Um, things that cause an itchy butt can be fleas. You can look for fleas or flea dirt. That's the flea poop. Little and those black specks. Um, and also um, anal glands can be checked. You should have uh, your vet or a when your dog's groomed, you can have the anal glands checked. And also food allergy can cause it. Wheat and beef and even chicken ingredients can cause dogs to itch. But this little dog isn't only itchy, it's a special little dog. And if you look at it, just look going around, you can say, well, what's wrong with it? Well, it had both of its eyes removed. So actually, this dog's completely blind. As it walks around, you'll notice he's sniffing a lot. and. Uh, seems like he's looking but when he hits uh, when he bumps up against a wall he just uh, kind of uh, stops and sniffs and he's using his senses his other senses his hearing and his his nose to interact he looks completely uh, normal and happy um, he has he was a Katrina puppy he was rescued from the hurricane Katrina in New Orleans uh, the flooding and he was brought uh, out here and then um, he developed really painful glaucoma in both eyes, went blind from it, uh, and instead of having um, the eyes treated and using uh, medication, um, they decided to remove both of the eyes. But you can see he's still, you know, he's still happy and healthy and just wanted to point out that when, when animals um, have a disability like this, it doesn't always mean that they're suffering. Uh, this dog's, the owner says that it gets around the house just fine. See how it's itching on my knee? That's because its butt is itchy and it's just going to itch on something. If your dog itches, you can use Benadryl at uh, one milligram per pound twice a day. You can give an oatmeal shampoo and some conditioner and that may help with the itching. You can even use a baby aspirin. An aspirin's like five milligrams per pound. But anyway, watch this little dog as he navigates around. Uh, you can tell when he finds something that uh, points him in another direction or something weird. Certainly all the senses are keyed in so he doesn't run into things haphazardly. He just actually navigates pretty well. So dogs aren't suffering just because they have a certain sense disability. Uh, they can certainly uh, get around just fine. Wasn't that a cute little dog and pretty amazing how animals adapt to uh, different circumstances. Yeah, if your dog itches, the, the major things that can cause it to itch are flea allergy and that can be uh, treated with uh, flea control. Seems like frontline isn't working very well anymore. Uh, topical advantage sometimes doesn't work near as well as it did when it first came out. So there's other flea controls to use like Provecto, Trifexis, Confortis, and you can check with your vet on those. You can always bathe your dog with an oatmeal shampoo or even baby shampoo and use conditioner. It will soothe the irritated skin. You can use Benadryl at one milligram per pound without the uh, decongestant in it twice a day. Um, and that may help and also aspirin at five milligrams per pound twice a day. The two of those together are a great thing to have in your emergency kit or medicine box for a lot of different sim symptoms. Of course if your dog vomits or has diarrhea sometimes aspirin isn't the best choice. But anyway if you get a chance check out my website Dog Dish Diet and the two books there um, Dog Dish Diet and Feed Your Pet to Avoid the Vet. I talk about better di better feeding uh, or better diets for both dogs and cats. Well, anyway, have a great day.